Hey guys, Paul here. I am going to uh, continue my series of uh, how to create a profitable website. I'm going to add some Google ads to uh, worldofcraftbeer.com. Luckily, this theme has got some places to add the um, info. So I'm going to quickly show you. So you're going to log into your Google AdSense account. So I'll log into mine. Looks like I've got some money waiting. So it'll be nice to get it up to 50. I think it pays out at 50 quid. I'm not sure. Um, I used to have uh, monetized YouTube, ad, YouTube uh, ads, which is where I got that money from. But anyway, that's by the point. You're going to go to, so whilst I've done this, my ads and create a new ad unit. It's going to say, I'm going to put... Uh, World of Craft Beer ad. It's going to say here responsive. Um, so you can, like the top of the website is this 7280 by 90, and uh, you can actually decide whereabouts on your website you're going to put it and what size it needs to be. But because I've got ad blocks on this theme, I'm just going to use this responsive. Um, uh, this responsive box because it'll work out how to be big itself. So I'm going to use text and display ads. You can use one or the other if you want. I'm going to go to custom channels um, and I create a new channel. Uh, let me just click here. Oh, a new a custom channel lets you group and unit ads however you choose, such as uh, by size or location. So if you wanted to do set ads for a grouping thing. Or size thing then you might want to group them together I'm just going to save and get code so there's obviously more to it and more funky stuff as you want to get in but I'm just going to do the quick simple version so I'm going to grab this code copy it I'm going to go to my theme and look it's really easy on this theme I'm going to go to theme options and I'm going to go to advertisement and now this banner added in the top I'm going to click on 72 8, 728 by 90 and I'm going to paste in that code I'm going to save it and I'm also going to put it in if I go to post this Valenti theme is really good post end content banner code I'm going to drop it in there so I think Google AdSense lets you put it in three places. Any more than that, then you realise you're trying to just, you know, click people into spam. I'm gonna put it on a third place, which is um, the toolbar, the sidebar. So what will happen? You'll see this has gone bigger, but at the moment, nothing is showing. It won't show straight away. It will come up in a minute. So I'm. Gonna go to well, there's something wrong with this video actually. I can add it to this sidebar. This one's a custom sidebar for this category, so I can customize widgets. It's gonna give me the list of widgets that's there. Real ale craft beer. Add a widget. Go to text. Uh, text, and then drop in that code again. And that puts that in there. It is a bit funky, this theme. It's funky in a good way, funky. And you see how this big square is coming here now? It's because each category I've given their own, um, their own, what am I saying, um, sidebar. So I would have to do it on all of them. So I'm going to go to what on here. It takes a while to... So that's made it bigger for them to show up, but they don't show up straight away. So I'm just gonna click around. I may pause the video. What is it? It's twelve. It's two forty-two. Welcome back. So twelve fifty-two. It obviously took about ten minutes for it to go active. So now you can see Google adverts are appearing in that top bar. If I go to where I had it in the sidebar and go to one of these videos. Now it's it's coming in this sidebar. Um, eventually, Google will work out that this blog website is beer related, and and more of these adverts will be beer related. Um, 
and it should also be here, look. So I added it in three places, below every post, above in the header, and in the sidebar. Um, and now it's working. So it takes 10 minutes or so, obviously, to become active. I don't know if it'll say active there now. It still says new, but... So I didn't do anything in that gap. It just took about 10 minutes for, um, for it to show up. So hopefully that helps. You just go in, my ads, create a new ad, go responsive if, you, if your theme can handle it. If you're getting overlapping on on here, then you may need to put in certain sizes. But all you had to do was grab that code and then post it in there. So hopefully now this, this website gets a few more visitors and it begins to um, create a little bit of revenue through those adverts. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to add the plug on, plug on, plug in to WordPress that lets you lets you sell this advertising space, lets you ask people if they want to have this space for a month, and you can set a, um, a price on that. So that's going to be a good video. Um, I'll put it up in a box somewhere on here once I've created it. So I hope you have a good day. Come and visit me, paulnicholson.com. Leave a comment wherever you're watching this video. Let me know um, what you think or any suggestions you might have on other ways of doing it or anything. Just comment, like, dislike. Just give me give me a reaction. Tell me, tell me what you think. See you all again soon. Have a great weekend. Cheers.